Good afternoon everyone, a uh, different sort of video today, we're talking about tech, we're not talking about Porsche, we're not talking about cars, we're not talking about my love of Porsche. But this is pretty important, especially important if you guys are thinking about buying these headphones at Christmas. Good afternoon everyone, good afternoon. Uh, today we're doing a slightly different video. Uh, I'm just going to do an update video on a review that I did. This is a tech video, this is nothing about Porsche today, so if you are expecting Porsche content, uh, next video is about Porsche. Yeah, so this is an update video today of when, uh, a year ago I purchased the Bose uh, SoundSport wireless uh, headphones. The earbuds, the black earbuds, uh, the other video is linked here, I'll, I'll just link it here for you guys if you want to watch it. Um, at the time when I bought the headphones, uh, I primarily bought them for running. Uh, and that's what I've been using them for, for pretty much the last 12 months. Uh, when I first bought them, I found that they kept losing the signal. Uh, and other people had that same problem. Other people who commented on the video and sent me private messages said they had the same issue. Uh, some people had returned them because of that issue. Uh, that issue seems to have gone away. Uh, it seems to have gone away with the software updates. And there's been a few software updates from Bose for these headphones, so they have tried to fix some of the issues. Now, the most important issue which they haven't fixed is the audio lag issue. Uh, there's a problem with the audio syncing and I've only really just encountered this problem in the last couple of weeks. Uh, I purchased a new iPad Pro. I'll link it here. Uh, I did a video on that. I purchased a new iPad Pro and <sighs> iPad Pro I use a lot to watch YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime, uh, other video sites, online video sites. Um, primarily, the, the, you know, I use my iPad as a TV. I don't really watch TV. Uh, so I bought the iPad Pro. Uh, it's a bigger screen. Um, and my previous iPad, I used to just use the Apple headphones. The cheap white plastic ones was wired. Now, the new iPad doesn't have a headphone jack. Uh, you can buy the headphone adapter, which I bought. So I could use wired headphones. But it's a little bit inconvenient because that's also your charging port. Uh, it's better to use wireless, you know. The thing is, so I thought, okay, great, I've got my Bose SoundSport wireless. I'm going to use those and I'm going to start, instead of just running in them, I can now use them to watch videos, which I didn't do before, but I probably could have, and now I'm starting to use them. Well, I was going to try to use them. The first thing I went to was YouTube. The audio lag on YouTube is unwatchable. Uh, the sound sports have this lag, this delay, this few seconds, I don't know, seconds, milliseconds, whatever it is, it doesn't matter what the length of the delay is, uh, it is terrible and you cannot watch it. Uh, some people have encountered on Netflix and others haven't. When I tried to watch something on Netflix, there was a slight lag, it wasn't as bad as YouTube, but not watchable. Um, if you're playing games, if you're playing any of the modern games that are out, the latest games, if you're playing PUBG or Fortnite, you will have a lag issue with these headphones. If you're playing it on iOS, if you're playing the game on iOS, it will lag. It will lag a lot. And I've read other games are also, uh, also give you the same result. Um, so this, uh, this problem from Bose, this problem with the Bose headphones, has been uh, widely discussed on forums. Uh, it's been widely discussed on forums, and even though Bose acknowledged this problem about a year ago, uh, they still haven't resolved it. Uh, in the US, a lot of people are buying the product and returning it. Bose are giving them a replacement. SoundSport Wireless, same problem, not fixed. Um, it looks as if they can't fix the issue. It looks as if they're just in damage control and they're just returning uh, returning it to try and keep the, the consumer's faith but it's not fixing the problem so you get another pair it's the same problem um, I purchased mine in Osaka a year ago uh, it's a bit difficult for me to return them I could probably try to go to Bose here in London and see if they would take them back which with all fairness to Bose I did have a problem with a, a previous pair of headphones and they took them back even though I purchased them in Australia and even though I didn't have the receipt. So customer service wise and that, they're, they're pretty good. Um, but these headphones for watching videos, playing games with your iPad, with your computer, 
you are going to get lag. Uh, <sighs> I guess this video is a bit of a warning to people. I would not purchase these headphones if that's what you want to use them for. The results aren't great. Uh, you are going to get the lag issue. They're going to be unusable. What's the point of buying a product that you can only use for audio? Uh, it should be... You buy headphones at this value and they're not cheap. Um, they should be able to be used on music, videos, sites, whatever. Uh, if they haven't developed them enough and they haven't resolved the issues with the syncing between the sound between one ear and the next ear, uh, then they shouldn't have released the product. Um, maybe they thought they could fix the problem in the short term and they haven't been able to do that. If you read the forums on Reddit, uh, on Bose's own forum, which was a year ago, like I said, they had that notification that it's a known problem. Um, <clears throat> it hasn't gone away. It hasn't been resolved. If you're thinking about buying these for a Christmas present, if you're thinking about buying them for yourself, if you want to use them for both audio and video, I would look at another product. Uh, I'm in the same situation. Uh, I've just purchased a pair of uh, Bang and Olufsen uh, headphones, the product that I normally buy. Uh, I think Bose are very good with their noise cancelling, but in, in, in this instance with these earbuds, these wireless earbuds, they haven't got it right. Um, so just an update from a year ago. I don't usually post these videos. I'm not trying to attack Bose, but I'm just saying for any of you guys that are watching this, who are looking to purchase this headphone, I would steer away from it. Uh, you know, I've been using a cheap pair that was given to Natasha for buying an iPhone, I think, 12 months ago. And they actually work, you know, so I don't understand. They actually work. Cheap headphones from Amazon work. Cheap wireless headphones from Amazon work. Uh, the Bose don't. There's something in that, I'm sure. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, that's about it. Bye for now.